Is a devastating disease for human beings, for animals, for wildlife. It's a big problem for crop production. And in most African countries where tourism is a key income earner, it's also a threat to uh, tourism. Trypanosomiasis is a debilitating human sleeping sickness and animals disease mainly caused by flies. It is a complex problem which negatively impacts on agricultural development, land use and responsible use of natural resources, limits human settlements and socio-economic development. It gives me much pleasure to be present here today and to preside over the launch of the Kenya Sese and Trypanosomiasis Eradication Council uh, Kentech Strategic Plan for the period 2018-2022. The Kenya government is cognizant of the African Heads of State and Government Vice Decision AHG Stroke 156. of the 36th Assembly of the African Union held in 2000 in Lome, Togo. The heads resolved to eradicate sese and trypanosomiasis from Africa in order to improve human health and productivity. TRDT affects agriculture and the tourism sector, which are our country's economic backbone. It limits land use, and responsible use of natural resources. It limits human settlement and the socioeconomic development because of these effects. Although a lot of ground has been gained towards the eradication of sesaflies, the problem still remains a major developmental challenge in Africa and in Kenya. We need a lot of stakeholder participation, which must be effective for us to manage uh, this uh, disease. I took interest when I heard about uh, Nagana, or you know what makes animals uh, grow thin. And because we have thin animals in the Rift Valley where I come from, I thought maybe they could be suffering Nagana and I don't know. So I got keen, keen interest. I called the CEO to come and explain to me more about this. And with that, I, I felt I need to put my energy here now that Mr. Monda knows that uh, the campaign against FGM, I have other people running with it now and I'm uh, more of a cheerleader. So I needed a mountain to climb. This is one of those I'd like to see can take. I see that it's eliminated the way I'm campaigning for the elimination of FGM. So that is where we are uh, together. The problem of sesophilies in this country is covering 38 counties out of the 47. That means we really need to create awareness at all levels so that the communities and the governments at the national and the county level come together to address uh, this uh, problem. Eradication of sesaflies in Kenya will create opportunities for investing in economically viable agricultural enterprises such as those in the livestock value chain, which eventually will improve the health, incomes and livelihoods of people living in sesafried areas. The cabinet in Kenya realized that uh, the impact of the disease needed uh, a higher attention by creating a semi-autonomous body that is able to effectively coordinate and manage the disease in, in, in Kenya. In Kuala, the CEO showed me some of the flies they have trapped. And I told myself, how many of the leaders really know about this? I've been parliament 10 years and I've never known about this trypanosomiasis. So advocacy is very, very important in this. And I hope the people here supporting us can also help us uh, to invest in publicity about this trypanosomiasis. It is all just about, most of them must know from books, 
like I knew sleeping sickness from books. But when it is brought home, I think then people will be serious about it. To achieve this, the government established the Kenya Sese and Trypanosomiasis Eradication Council, or Kentec, to coordinate all aspects involved in Sese fly eradication in Kenya. Our strategic plan for the next five years was launched in July 2020. That is to chart the way forward or where we should be in the next uh, five years. And the strategic plan, that like other strategic plans in Kenya, is derived from the third uh, medium plan, of course with the higher vision of the Vision 2030. It is also based on the achievements of the, the Big Four Agenda, plus the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs. So that is how the, our strategic plan has been derived. And the cost of the strategic plan has been mentioned by the chairman is uh, 7.7 .7 billion. This resource is expected to come from the government of Kenya and also with partnerships from other development partners. To systematically eradicate both sesafly and trypanosomiasis from over 138,000 square kilometers of infected areas in Kenya, Kentec does various activities in conjunction with other relevant bodies. We are dealing with one of the world's neglected diseases a lot of awareness still needs to be created to bring more partners uh, on board. Part of these activities include monitoring and evaluation on the ground to assess the impact of the interventions and to get feedback from the communities and various stakeholders involved. One such area is Home Bay County, where the team meets the CEC Agriculture, who is a partner and strong proponent of sesafly eradication activities. We have had a lot of collaboration with you and we appreciate that the county government of Oma Bay, specifically your, your department. We, today we want to go and see what the communities have continued to do is the support that we collaboratively have given them in the past. I must be proud to, to tell you that uh, there is a lot of positive impact on the ground. And it, you, you know, for Sese, it is something you just see on the health of animals walking around. If they are pain, struggling, you will be able to know something is wrong. Today we have dogs. You know, before uh, 2019, all our dogs were turning blind and dying. Today we have donkeys. Because I don't know the biology, but uh, the, 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 the trip is more stronger on dogs and donkeys than, than cows. And even our milk quantities are really up. You know, we are, we are doing the local ones. That gives you hardly one liter. But uh, there was a time where we would not even get that one liter. So there is a lot of uh, uh, improvement on, uh, on animal health. Our contribution to CESE is in the budget. Our governor has always insisted every budget year, including now, that some five million must be put. We were able to procure and they were delivered by conical traps. Homer Bay County also boasts of active locals' participation in fighting CESA flies through community-based organizations. These two groups, Simatko and Suhemo, reveal great gains made so far. They are making and teaching other members and the community at large how to make traps to deploy to various locations. Since we started uh, with the Patek in 2005, in 2007 there was a, ma a, ma a, mass, a mass disease here. Almost everybody lost his lifestyle. When we started working, 
the death rate was down. Up to date, it is down. That is why you are seeing people are plowing outside here. It is true that Sese is not a, a new issue to this area. We have struggled a lot trying to control Sese uh, in this place. And I believe you can remember that around 20, 2008 to 2013, the population of Sese was very low. Because of concerted effort that you people made, Lambe CDO was so active, Simatko was very active, and I think Suhemo had not got into this so strongly. You have come in later, but pull up. Uh, let's work together to bring the Sese menace to some control. Uh, currently, Sese control is done from the head office, the Nairobi office. It's a national function. But uh, as a county, we cannot sit back when our people, that is people from Guasi, Mbeiwa, and all over the county are struggling with this menace. So as a county, we have a budget allocation that would actually try to redirect uh, to groups like Simatko, Lambe CDO, and Subemo to help us contain this problem. The teams eventually settled down for a group discussion where various issues are discussed. We also deal in environmental conservations whereby we work we deal in tree plantings and the rest. And lastly, we also deal with the food security. Our mandate as Caltech is actually to create an enabling environment for fibre livestock keeping, fibre agriculture, and also not to forget the public uh, health aspect. When you spray the animal using the original skill that you were given by Patek Kentek, the animal becomes Sese free, it clears the environment of Sese. And when that environment is cleared of Sese, we are moving to the next level of monitoring whereby the animal does not become sick. So you have moved from here, you are somewhere. When the animal does not fall sick, the fly is killed. The disease is not there, the parasite is not there. What next level do you move to? What we call impact starts to appear. Outcomes, then you go to impact. The outcome is you now have bigger animals that I saw today. How many years down the lane? Over 10 years. You now don't experience the abortions that Mr. Onunga used to report in his reports that time. Macu abortion is one of the negative effects of trypanosomiasis in animals, in cattle. You now don't spend the too much money you used to spend in buying trypanosidal drugs. A few choice and much needed support materials are handed out. Awendo, Dede Girls Secondary School also shows great report. We started with one calf, brown in color, and uh, so far the, cal the cow has uh, multiplied. So far we have uh, a total number of nine dairy calves. They've been, give, uh, they've been of benefit to us. One, we've been having manure from them, manure that is used in the farm, farm for farming uh, skumawiki and even for farming maize. So we don't use a lot of money to produce uh, maize and even uh, skumawiki that all is used by the students. 
it has been a source of uh, employment to the villagers around. We appreciate you, the Kentech, uh, the Kentech group. Thank you very much. While at the zero grazing unit, the school team receives professional feedback and observations made. <laughs> I think you can judge yourself. <laughs> As the team visits various sites and locations, the feedback and progress made is quite visible. I know it is a challenge for uh, new farmers who are being weaned out of the indigenous cattle into exotic and productive cattle. It is difficult for them to keep the spirit going, but you have managed it, which was one of the objectives of Patek and Chemtech, that under the challenge of uh, the vectors and the diseases that they spread, uh, the diseases and the vectors be managed and farmers be able to profitably undertake agricultural production. Uh, I'd like to maybe uh, put it to your office for consideration if there will be some time, because of the animals produce one at all. Somebody got in the package. Na tulikuwa tunafikiria kuwa pengine kama tunaweza kuad value tusitupe tu petu tuweke kwa mahali ambapo kanaweza kutoa bio product ili tuwe na biogas system or kitu kama hicho There are some intervention activities which you have not seen in the documentary like aerial spray which is quite expensive uh, you have not seen the biological control the sterile insect technique which is very expensive but very effective. When you import drugs for treating animals, you import insecticides, that means you are using foreign exchange. So that leads to loss of uh, foreign exchange. When uh, the farmers, on the other hand, don't use uh, the drugs to treat animals, meaning the animals are now clean, it is a saving to the farmer. So the farmer is saving as much as the national government is saving on for an exchange. That is uh, the, 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 the cost of having no flies around you. Kwanza kabisa hii patek imenipereka kwa mimi mbali sana. Kwa maana hiyo ya patek, nili baitika nikapata contract na watu hii kuhiti kipereka masiro. Kutoka kwa patek. Nili pereka masiro karibu mwaka tatu. Na hiyo, ili nibidi ni somese mtoto yangu huko kanga secondary school na mpaka sahibu mtoto ni daktari. I will take this opportunity first of all, when I get you to see you. So thank you, Achim. From the onset when you are still at Patek and now at Kentec, for the initiative that you took of involving our members in the dairy value chain, dairy production value chain. There, are that, there is that mentality that we had before, that dairy farming is a difficult task and it is an impossible thing in this particular region. But through those animals that you brought, I can tell you for sure that many farmers, apart from the ones that you gave the animals, are now having animals of their own. You may move to homes and find that at least, if you move to five homes, at least one will be having a dairy cow, which is telling the neighbor that it is really possible. Taking back to the time we started Patek in the year 2005. How I don't see someone who attacked Patek in that 
Biggest challenge was in the area surrounding Lando Gare. The, the jewel of the farm is called the Pamela Ledge. Pamela is the, uh, the animal I got from uh, initially Patek, now Kentek. And Pamela has been uh, the jewel of the farm because she's the, the, the highest milk producer in the farm. I have taken my children to school and as you see me, I'm not young, but I look small. My first daughter is in university, second year doing agricultural education and extension at Peterton University. And uh, I took her to school because of the dairy farming I'm doing. Malanga crush pen, the farmers are up and early to spray their animals, animals that are thriving courtesy of sessafly eradication. Crush pen, no chaco, and no conyo accord, Miguel Macmas Rical, Macentec, can you one one more chandro, my two my Germany, Mani Kilogumaugo. Maugo ngenyi gwengi ni kakine no gwengi ni oti mubungu. Kuru maugo gindi kumoda kibungu. Kuru ne jamni, yenyo tuo toto, tuo toto. To kaka gwengi ni pithma jamni, iyo ma marwa ma yuto. Kuru kanejo kente kubiro kodi program ni. To negi nyiso waka kwa nyalutiyo, mwanda wa construct a crash pen. De negi kilo nwa yen mwanya lalu wako kwa jamni kachia liku pam. Tukumano wa neno pogo, maduwa nikechu maa tuwa mikelo kuma ugu kuro wa neno kwa doki. Kendo jamu ni kuro wa neno kwa di niki bae. Kuro wa temo nyo, wago ilo kamano nyo, nigao moku masri kano makente kuru konyo manye gimiyo. Wangai, wangai prasper. Wangai prasper. Hini ya wakati kwa krasper nita mbazo kibianzishwa. Kwa muda mwingi ndiyo kita, hindi kuweza kusaidia kwa mambo ya kufunguza mbungo katika sehemu hii ya siyaya. are upbeat and happy to increase their yield from their animals. As animal health continuously improves, so does their yield, which is collected at a different location, the Casbondo Dairy Farm. Kasbondo Dairy Cooperative sources its milk in the Kasipul and Kabondo catchment area. Organized commercial dairy production is relatively new in this part of the country. A lot of work needs to be done, firstly to empower the farmers and enable them to increase their milk productivity, and secondly to strengthen Kasbondo's administrative and processing capacities. It is in this light that I would like to express our sincere gratitude to Kente for your continued support 
for the brief improvement efforts through the sex semen support program. A strong and efficient AI, AI service is central to the development of dairy industry. The support that Kentech has given to Casbondo farmers has gone a long way in enhancing the milk product, uh, production in our catchment area. This is giving enthusiasm for other farmers to see the prof profitability in dairy production and join the, the group. This means this is increasing milk, it is increasing also wealth in the hands of the, of the communities. And, and this you can actually directly link to the Big Four agenda of uh, uh, food and uh, nutrition security. And uh, of course we, uh, this all goes to poverty eradication. And when people are nutrition, food secure, you know, issues of health, uh, problems of health also reduce. Other local farming activities are also bearing fruit. We used Lamu to create a success story in the Fasa Island, where some of the activities included even training, training some of the community members on veterinary services. And from our activities, they were able to see a dairy animal in the island for the first time. And we are still working in the island with the communities to continue improving uh, the animals. We continue building capacity and eventually we expect that to replicate in the, in the mainland, which is a bigger problem and this will require a lot of stakeholders to come together to mobilize resources for that. We also have a success story in, uh, in Bulgaria, where up to date uh, uh, the organization and even the communities, we are picking notices and even visually, the animals look so healthy. And these animals are now fetching a lot of money for the farmers, meaning together with the communities, we have been able to increase the, the incomes of the communities who live there. When I hear about uh, Kenya being, you know, in the list of those who still have this, and there are other countries who have eliminated, like Botswana, they have eliminated uh, uh, T and T. Then why aren't we eliminating ourselves as a country? One thing that is noticeable in Kenya is that the last report of sleeping sickness Kenya was in the year 2009. That means since then we have had no report of sleeping sickness. And uh, this inspiration has also informed the WHO to identify Kenya as one of the countries that should now embark on the path to be certi certified as uh, uh, human uh, sleeping sickness free or human trypanosomiasis free and for us this is a plus for Kenya and we have to continue working together to achieve this. As the team concludes its visit Another local shining example encourages other locals to keep working hard. Our appeal is just to realize the, the big resource that is needed for elimination of TNT in Africa in general, Kenya in particular, and come on board to help Kentek as an organization and the Kenya government to create freedom from sese and uh, uh, trypanosomiasis. Mm -hmm.